two high school football stars were found guilty on Sunday of raping a 16-year-old girl in August in a case that drew national attention for the way social media spurred the initial prosecution and later helped galvanize national outrage over the assault. Because the victim did not remember what happened, scores of text messages and cell phone pictures and a video provided much of the evidence, proof as well, some said that the town's powerhouse football team held too much sway over other teenagers, who documented and traded photos of the assault. While doing little or nothing to protect the girl, one football player, Trent Mace, 17, who had been a quarterback on the Steubenville High School team, was sentenced to serve at least two years in the state juvenile system, while the other, Malik Richmond, 16, who played wide receiver, was sentenced to serve at least one year. Both could end up in juvenile jail until they are 21, at the discretion of the State Department of Youth Services. Mr. Mesa's minimum sentence is twice as long as Mr. Richmond's because he was found to be delinquent beyond a reasonable doubt, the juvenile equivalent of guilty, not only of rape but also of distributing a nude image of a minor. After Judge Thomas Lips read his decision in juvenile court, both boys broke down and sobbed. Mr. Richmond turned to his lawyer, Walter Madison, and said, my life is over. Mr. Mays apologized to the victim by name, as well as to her family and the community. No pictures should have been sent around, let alone ever taken. Mr. Richmond then walked to where the family sat and said, I had not intended to do anything like this. I'm sorry to put you through this, before he broke down, unable to speak, and embraced a court officer. The judge found that both boys used their fingers to penetrate the girl while she was so drunk in the early hours of August 12th that she lacked the cognitive ability to give her consent for sex. The picture that was circulated among classmates the day after the assault showed the victim naked and passed out. Ohio's legal definition of rape includes digital penetration. Judge Lips described much of the evidence as profane and ugly. In sentencing the boys, he said that rape was among the greatest of crimes and noted that they could have been tried as adults and faced far harsher punishments. He also said the case was a cautionary lesson in how teenagers talk to their friends and conduct themselves when alcohol is present, and in how you record things on social media that are so prevalent today. The trial exposed not only the behavior of the defendants but also of other teenagers, who wasted no time spreading photos texts and video with what many in the community felt was callousness or cruelty. And that aspect of the case may not be complete. Ohio Attorney General Mike DeWine said after the verdict that he would convene a grand jury next month to finish the investigation. In an interview, Mr. DeWine said while it is not clear that more people will face charges, he said some offenses that prosecutors might consider would include obstruction of justice, failure to report a felony and failure to report child abuse. State officials have interviewed almost 60 people, students, coaches and school officials as well as parents, but 16 have refused to speak to investigators, most of them juveniles. The verdict came after four days of testimony that was notable for how Ohio prosecutors and criminal forensics investigators analyzed hundreds of text messages from more than a dozen cell phones and created something like a real-time accounting of the events surrounding the assault and its aftermath. Through the prosecution's reconstruction and reading aloud of these messages, Judge Lips heard Mr. Mays in text messages from his cell phone say that he had used his fingers to penetrate the girl, whom he referred to in a separate message as like a dead body. In another text message, Mr. Mays admitted to the girl that he had taken the picture, already circulated among other students, of her lying naked in the basement with what he told her was his semen on her body, from what he stated was a consensual sex act 